Hey guys, this is Kalel, and today we've got a video review of the TFC Toys Hercules figure, Heavy Labor. As usual, before we have a look at the figure, let's have a quick look at the box. Alright guys, same sort of box as last time with Xgraver, nice open bubble on the pack. Inside you can see a little bit of artwork there, and some really cool artwork on the bottom. Same on the side, cool drawing up there. Hercules Heavy Labour, some Chinese. On the back again, just some photos. Heavy Labour in his robot not mode, and a combined mode of Hercules. Again, collect all six members to create the mighty Hercules. And on the side, just some details of the figure. Alrighty then, we've got Heavy Labour back now. So we'll have a look at a bit of the details. And... As usual, we'll move on to transformation. First thing you'll notice here, guys, is he's got wings. <laughs> um, yes, flying dump truck. Very cool. But for now, we'll just take them off. I only had them on there purely to keep all the bits together. And also, he has some cannons. I just wanted to show him my cannons. Um, so we'll take those off. Um, if that line was a little abstract, that was from the first Transformers film. Uh, so yeah, heavy labour. Um, rolls quite nicely. Nice sort of heavy tyres being heavy labour. Now that name to me just sounds weird. I'm not going to go into it. I'm sure you can figure it out, but hey, don't want to breach copyright. So yeah, again, nice and green. He's got some uh, writing here, which is a nice little play on Hercules. So you can work it out there. Front, all the figures have the same sort of paintwork, that blacky grey colour, nice purples. Kind of looks a little blue on the camera, but it's a nice strong purple there. Nice painted wheels, roll and spin quite nicely. And in the back, you've just got a nice green tub and some robot fists. Because all dump trucks have robot fists, so it's perfectly normal. Alright, let's have a look at transformation. Okay, first thing, just pop these legs off the tabs in the back. And the whole section will rotate down a nice heavy joint. And you can see there, we've got half the legs done. These purple pieces here, which again, kind of look blue on the camera. Let's see how they turn out later. Just fold those. Now, in here, you can see this, this little grey section in there. That gets kind of caught on it. So what I suggest you do is tilt that out first and then bring the leg down. So on both sides, Tilt it out, bring the leg down, and you can put the legs back in however you want. Just pop the uh, the feet out; they just just sit in there. So pop both of those out, and then you have his legs. Now up the top, pretty simple. Come up the back here and just separate both sides of the tray. And you can see some arms there. The tray just sits back here and fold that piece down. Now with the arms, that little piece in here, just fold that in on itself and the arm will come down. This part of the arm, rotate around. The, f the end piece here again is just on a tab, just folds up onto itself and the hand will rotate all the way around. And that just clips into here. Okay. So same on the other side. This piece in. This piece in. Down. Turn. And rotate. On the chest here, just flip that down. Becomes his little crutch guard. We can call it. And he has no head. So to get the head out, pop this little flat forward. And... The head just, this one's quite loose, so 
there is, and pop that back in. So there we have heavy labour. So being a dump truck, he's going to be quite bold, and that carries quite nicely over to the robot mode. He's a solid robot, and being that he is the central part of Hercules, in the sense of holding the legs and the, the upper body together, he, he needs to be pretty solid. Um, as for details, just like the others, cool light piping, just burning red through there. Head, you know, bit of silver paint on there, but that looks fine. The grill's obviously the same as the alt mode. And on the shoulder here, we've got some nice detail in on this flap here, and that, that was the one that we folded up earlier. Some nice purple on the, the elbow joint there. Hands are just black. Um, that crutch guard that I called it, that was the uh, the bumper from before. It's got some nice silver paint in there. Wouldn't hurt it a little bit in here, but hey, not a big deal. Some more ab pipes in silver there. The lights are all painted, which is pretty cool. So the arms are both the same. Down on the legs, we've got some, some silver on here. That's, that's fair enough. Nothing on the knees is a bit of a shame. Um, the side, we've got some silver again, which is cool to break up that, that black leg. Um, and just a purple leg with some, some more silver there. So, paint's basic, but it does the job. As for articulation, we've got a head rotation, but not... It doesn't tilt. It's just purely rotation. Um, this thing moves, but you'll see that later on. We've got a full 360 on the arm, and that can go up and down. We have a an elbow swivel, a post or bicep swivel, and an elbow that will go all the way up. That's again, that's on a floating elbow, but this one, it doesn't really matter too much because it actually hides in the arm. So that that's cool. No wrist articulation. We have a waist swivel, that's cool. And we have nice heavy legs. Now, as I said before, this part becomes Hercules' torso. So these need to be quite heavy. Uh, we've got a thigh swivel, and technically we've got two knee joints due to the transformation, but mainly it's just this, this green one here. And the toes can move in and out, so if you wanted to put him in a, a sort of a, a running position, you could do that. But that's him. Now, he does have the accessories from before. We've got two guns, a purple and a red gun. So you can do whatever you want with those. I'll just have him holding those. So he's got dual blasters. He can hold them however he wants, obviously. And you also have these two wing pieces. These will become part of the chest shield for Hercules later on. And you, know, you can do whatever you want with these as well. Um, what I was doing last time is on the back here he has some tabs there. You can store them in there or if you wanted to, to make it look like he had some some little hatchets, I suppose. You could could have them on the, the bottom of the hand. <laughs> anyway, uh We'll leave that awkward pause there. <laughs> so, yeah, you can have them however you want. Now, quick size comparison. We'll do a couple and then we'll take him back into ultra mode. Now there's heavy labour with first edition bulkhead. So you can see they're about the same height. Uh, bulkhead being bulkhead is quite a bit bulkier. But they're both Voyager class figures, so that gives you a general idea of Heavy labor size is a pretty big figure. And we'll just have a quick look at a deluxe figure and that will show you a bit of range. And there he is with Transformers Prime Ratchet. 
who's a, a normal sort of size deluxe figure and you can see Heavy Labor is quite a lot bigger than him and just for the sake of it there is War for Cybertron Soundwave a little bit bigger of a deluxe as we all know they're slightly getting a little bit smaller um, doesn't bother me but hey that's not what we're talking about right now so there's a bit of a size comparison and let's have a quick look at the transformation back to old mode hey guys just obviously pull these accessories off here we don't need those on straighten everything up and okay pop the feet in oh, the other thing is these are wheels I didn't do but they will push up a little bit higher um, it's up to you whether you do that it doesn't restrict anything so anyway rotate the arm around and the hand out that just tabs in to a little tab there nice and tight and bring the arm up tap that out that's one done and other side so up rotate around that way doesn't matter what order you do this in just line all this up pop the hand out just trying to do this quickly guys just to give you a quick idea of how to do it head pop him in done come around bring that up bring that up and on here you've got one tab there a couple of tabs along here they line up with this this and this so that will all just slot in together um, this bit can be a little bit fiddly you just gotta gotta wriggle it around a little bit but it goes in same with the other side same deal all of that just just slots together like so so that's the back done that just straight up like that the legs again just bring them out so you don't get caught on the groin there and they rotate this part not the green part and that just slots in there they actually have two tabs there and two holes there you can see there and they just whoops wrong one this one's a bit tighter on that that just slots in like so okay pop them back together now this whole section is going to fold at that black hinge there two green tabs and the holes on the shins so just fold all that in nice and tightly and they just tab all together If I could do it, because I'm a bit retarded today. One jump cut later, and last bit, just pop that bumper section up, and he has his bumper again. So there he is, back in the vehicle mode, or alt mode, whatever the hell you want to call it. Now, to go from there to Hercules is very, very simple. All we're going to do is, after much trouble I had putting him back on, pop the legs back off rotate or pull that section all the way down so it has it like that and then we turn that all the way around now this is where these wheels come in you want to pop those up on both sides and then that rotates around so you can see there we have a new groin guard crutch section so this one actually will stay up now and the legs will stay like that because this is your connection pin for or peg or whatever the hell you want to call it for the legs this back section just fold straight down so that is heavy labors hercules mode or torso mode or groin mode or whatever the hell you want to call him but that's him so he can just sit there and be a groin uh, unless you've got the other bits, he isn't really fun to play with like this. At least with x Grave, you've got a big hand and an arm that you can be silly with. But um, again, you really want to have the whole set if you want to make use of this mode. But you can you can get where it's coming from here. And just, again, to see how big that actually is. There's Bulkhead. So his torso is as big as Bulkhead's pretty much whole body 
like you can just see the arm sticking out there. So Hercules is a big robot, but we'll get on to that soon. Okay guys, that was a video review of TFC Toys Hercules figure, Heavy Labour. He's the second figure in the series of six, and obviously Hercules is is a kind of an individual figure or a gestalt or a combiner or whatever you want to call him. So we've got another five more reviews to do, and we'll get to them slowly, but hey, hopefully you guys are watching and enjoying them. Make sure you uh, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, check me out on Facebook, and like me on Facebook, and watch my other videos guys, there's a few up now, so leave some comments, constructively hopefully, <laughs> and enjoy. I'll see you on the boards.